the unsurpassed, profound, and wonderful Dharma is difficult to encounter in hundreds of millions of eons. I now see and hear it, receive and uphold it, and I vow to fathom the Tathagata's true meaning. The Heart of Prajnaparamita Sutra When Avalokiteshvara Bodhisattva was practicing the profound Prajnaparamita, he illuminated the five skandhas and saw that they are all empty, and he crossed beyond all suffering and difficulty. Chariputra, form does not differ from emptiness. Emptiness does not differ from form. Form itself is emptiness. Emptiness itself is form. So too are feeling, cognition, formation, and consciousness. Shariputra, all dharmas are empty of characteristics. They are not produced, not destroyed, not defiled, not pure, and they neither increase nor diminish. Therefore, in emptiness there is no form, feeling, cognition, formation, or consciousness. No eyes, ears, nose, tongue, body, or mind. No sights, sounds, smells, tastes, objects of touch, or dharmas. No field of the eyes, up to and including no field of mind consciousness, and no ignorance or ending of ignorance, up to and including no old age and death or ending of old age and death. There is no suffering, no accumulating, no extinction, no way, and no understanding and no attaining. Because nothing is attained, the Bodhisattva, through reliance on Prajnaparamita, is unimpeded in his mind. Because there is no impediment, he is not afraid, and he leaves distorted dream thinking far behind. Ultimately, Nirvana. All Buddhas of the three periods of time attain Anuttara Samyak Sambodhi through reliance on Prajnaparamita. Therefore, know that Prajnaparamita is a great spiritual mantra, a great bright mantra, a supreme mantra, an unequaled mantra. It can remove all suffering. It is genuine and not false. That is why the mantra of Prajnaparamita was spoken. Recite it like this. Gate gate paragate parasamgate bodhi svaha.